that dry air, it's going to be quick to cool down. So heads up, you'll be noticing those temperatures falling pretty quickly now that the sun is officially set here at Tarpon Lodge. Looking westward currently over Pine Island Sound from Boquilla. Overall, though, a beautiful evening taking shape. Temperatures also now starting to drop out of the 70s into the 60s. We're now at 67 degrees in Fort Myers after an afternoon high of 75. Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte sitting at 65 degrees. Right now, Golden Gate, we are down to 69. So officially today, much closer to normal overall. We started off just one degree above that normal low and afternoon highs were right on target at 75. That said, still technically plus one on the calendar. So we are seeing a lot of red so far for the month of January, but that's not how we'll wrap up the week. As a matter of fact, I suspect we'll be seeing some blue, especially as we head toward the weekend. Below average temperatures on the way. Take a look at this. A powerful cold front forecast to come through on Friday. That will be dropping back our temperatures. So next couple of days they're going to be on the warm side. Cool mornings, especially tomorrow. But then we'll head toward 77 up to 80 on Thursday. The warm surge ahead of that cold front. Cold front comes through and then we'll drop back those temperatures into the low and mid 60s. So well below that average of 75 degrees. But obviously this little cool snap over the weekend. It is short lived as it does look like Monday into Tuesday of next week will already be climbing back to the mid and upper 70s. As that front comes through that will also present our next opportunity for wet weather. So fast forward, looking ahead to that timeline for your Friday. As we look ahead Friday morning, as of right now, based upon the latest data here at Fox 4, and of course, we'll continue to update this model and update this timeline as that new data arrive. However, right here, 7 a.m., it looks like the morning commute will be a dry one, but by midday into the afternoon, you'll want to make sure you have that rain gear close. Scattered showers and storms are expected for your Friday afternoon and evening, then clearing out later on in the evening and out of southwest Florida by around 11 o'clock. Really, that's the only opportunity for wet weather on the way in my seven day forecast. So notice right there, Friday's rain probabilities up to 60% then dropping back to zero over the weekend with that colder air building in. And in the near term, nice and quiet conditions for those of you with outdoor plans. High pressures in control. Wall to wall sunshine on tap for your Wednesday. A cool start in the upper 40s tomorrow morning. So you might want a jacket heading off to school, heading off to work, sending the kids off to the bus stop. But for the afternoon with those temperatures heading into the mid and upper 70s, you will likely want to shed any layers you have. That's why I always advise the layer method. Thursday, not so cool of a start at 54, up to 80 degrees. Then scattered thunderstorms as that front comes through on Friday. And then again, Saturday, Sunday, certainly cool afternoons in the 60s. Those morning temperatures quite chilly, especially on Sunday.